What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Sunday, April 17th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a four game slate here tonight, NBA playoffs. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Trey Young from the Atlanta Hawks playing the Miami Heat. Trey Young has averaged 50 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 35% usage rate. He's projected at 53.6 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.5 times value. He's 9,800 DraftKings salary, 500 more on FanDuel, and Trey Young has scored 57 49 and 52 fantasy points in the last three games playing 40 33 and 34 minutes so i like trey young here versus the miami heat now i also like chris paul i think he's underpriced on DraftKings. chris paul has averaged 40.9 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 45.2 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.9 times value. He's 7,600 at DraftKings salary, 1,000 more on FanDuel, so I love that DraftKings price. Chris Paul scored 52 fantasy points in his last game, played 37 minutes. So I like Chris Paul, especially on DraftKings here versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Tyler Hero from the Miami Heat playing the Atlanta Hawks. And the Atlanta Hawks give up the most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Tyler Hero has averaged 34.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. He's projected at 37.8 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.5 times value. He's 6,900 DraftKings salary, 100 more on FanDuel. And Tyler Hero scored 37 and 50 fantasy points in the last two games playing 32 and 33 minutes. So I like Tyler Hero here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Now, although I would not play this guy on DraftKings, his FanDuel price is just way too cheap. So take a look at Victor Oladipo. Now he is gonna be coming off of the bench. Um, and the last game of the season, they gave him some playing time, 35 minutes. The guy went out there and scored 69 fantasy points. Now, he's not going to play 35 minutes here tonight. But at only, let's see, he's 5,700 DraftKings salary, which is a bit too much to pay on DraftKings. But he's 2,200 less on FanDuel. So let's say he goes out there and scores 20 fantasy points. You're going to crush value with Victor Oladipo on FanDuel. And then if he goes out there and just goes nuts, you could score 30 plus fantasy points coming off the bench and he'd be uh, in the winning lineup for sure uh, on FanDuel. So I think he's worth a shot on FanDuel. So I like Victor Oladipo coming off the bench on FanDuel here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. 
so it's that easy and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Now I also like Kevin Herter from the Atlanta Hawks playing the Miami Heat who have a good defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing shooting guards. Kevin Herter has averaged 23.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with an 18% usage rate. He's projected at 26.3 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.6 times value. He's 4,700 DraftKings salary, 300 more on FanDuel. Kevin Herter has scored 21, 28, and 26 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 28, 29, and 30 minutes. So he's got 30 plus fantasy point upside, but he doesn't need that to get you value. So I think he's in a good spot. He could get his season average and get you over five times value. So I like Kevin Herter uh, more on DraftKings, but his FanDuel price is just fine as well here versus the Miami Heat. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Zach Levine from the Chicago Bulls playing the Milwaukee Bucks. And Zach Levine has averaged 39 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate, projected at 41 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.5 times value. He's 7,500 DraftKings salary, 200 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 229 points scored in this game. It does look like it's the highest projected points game on the slate. Zach Levine scored 39 fantasy points last game in 30 minutes. And I think he gets going here in the playoffs. So I like Zach Levine here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, I also like Bogdan Bogdanovich from the Atlanta Hawks playing the Miami Heat. And Bogdan Bogdanovich has averaged 28.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He's projected at 31.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.6 times value. He's 5,600 DraftKings salary. He's 900 more on FanDuel, so I prefer that DraftKings price. He scored 35, 21, and 38 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 29, 24, and 27 minutes. So I like Bogdan Bogdanovich here versus the Miami Heat. Now, this is another DraftKings play. He's priced up a bit too much for me on FanDuel. But take a look at Bruce Brown from the Brooklyn Nets playing the Boston Celtics. Now, Bruce Brown has scored 47, 43, and 55 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 40, 37, and 39 minutes, projected at 39.9 fantasy points here tonight. On DraftKings, that's 6.1 times value. He's 6,500 DraftKings salary, 1,000 more on FanDuel. So for 7,500 on FanDuel, I think I could find some other players because there is a pretty big risk here of a disappointing game. Uh, but on DraftKings, he's cheap enough where I think his upside is worth the risk. So I like Bruce Brown on DraftKings here versus the Boston Celtics. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. So a couple studs at the power forward position, 
Giannis Ananakupo and Kevin Durant. I like both those guys. They're both projected at about 57, uh, right around 57 fantasy points. And that would be for them. Their salary is also right around the same. 11,000 for Giannis, 10,800 for Kevin Durant. So that'd be 5.3 times value for each of these guys. Now, out of the two, I think I prefer Kevin Durant because he's playing over 40 minutes. Kevin Durant has scored 59, 59, and 55 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 41, 40, and 41 minutes. But it's a coin flip between these two studs. So I like Giannis Ananakupo and Kevin Durant both on this in this playoff slate. Okay, now here's a gut call here for um, a power forward, also eligible at the center position. And again, this is probably a DraftKings play because he's priced up on FanDuel. But I think his DraftKings price leaves a lot to be desired here with his playoff experience. I like Al Horford from the Boston Celtics playing the Brooklyn Nets. Al Horford has averaged 29.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 15% usage rate. I think he gets a bunch of minutes in this game. I think he scores, well, he's projected at 35.7 fantasy points here tonight. And on DraftKings, that's 5.4 times value. He's 6,600 DraftKings salary. He is 700 more on FanDuel. So I prefer that DraftKings price, but I like Al Horford as a playoff player with all his experience. I just think he's going to get like 35 minutes of this game possibly. And let's see what he's averaging. He's averaging 1.03 fantasy points per minute. So that would put him right around 35 fantasy points and he's got 40 fantasy point upside. So I like that DraftKings price. So I like Al Horford on DraftKings here versus the Brooklyn Nets. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Bam Adebayo from the Miami Heat playing the Atlanta Hawks. Bam Adebayo has averaged 40.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. He's projected at 43.1 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.4 times value. He's 8,000 DraftKings salary, 300 more on FanDuel. He scored 41 and 41 fantasy points in his last two games, playing 32 and 30 minutes. He probably gets a bump in minutes here tonight, which could increase his production. So I like Bam Adebayo here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Now, I also like Nikolai Vucevic, especially on FanDuel. This is a guy I would play over, you know, if you're looking for a guy under 7K on FanDuel, I think he's just a fantastic FanDuel play here. Nikolai Vucevic has averaged 40.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate Projected at right around 40 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.2 times value on DraftKings and much higher value on FanDuel. He's 7,700 DraftKings salary and he's 800 less on FanDuel. So I just love this guy's price on FanDuel. So I like Nikolai Vucevic. I think he's good on both sides, but I think it's a smash play on FanDuel here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. And I also like Jonas Valanciunas from the New Orleans Pelicans playing the Phoenix Suns. And Jonas Valanciunas has averaged 38.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate, projected right around 40 fantasy points. That's 5.5 times value. He's 7,300 DraftKings salary, 300 more on FanDuel. And Jonas Valanciunas had an off game last game, only scored 19 fantasy points in 25 minutes. The game before that scored 50 fantasy points in 36 minutes. 
So I'm looking for him to hit his season average here, possibly crack 40 fantasy points and crush value. So I like Jonas Valanciunas here versus the Phoenix Suns. Oh, real quick before you get out of here, if you want daily sports betting and player prop picks, we put a link to today's video with our NBA picks in the bottom of the description of this video. It's our new YouTube channel, so we would really appreciate it if you dropped a like on that video and subscribe to that new channel so it can help us get shown in the YouTube algorithm and you won't miss those daily NBA picks. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.